Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of finding the area of a rectangle. This is standard 3.6c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this is kind of a tricky question. We have uh, Aaron's rectangular lawn. It's going to be this shaded area right here. And we need to find that area in square meters. Now, one thing we need to make sure we understand is that area is the inside. So we're dealing with uh, the shaded area inside that rectangle. Perimeter is outside. And that's a different skill. That's typically a little bit easier. When we're looking at how we measure just blank space inside of an object, what we do is we just overlay these little squares inside. And we just count how many squares fit inside this rectangle. And so each square is one square meter. That means it's, it's one meter up on each side. And so we need to figure out how many squares would fit inside her shaded rectangular lawn. Well, you see it's sitting on top of a grid. So I'm thinking one thing we could do is we could just kind of extend these lines out. Maybe that would work. And we could just take these and we could literally just count every single square. So let me go ahead and do that and show you how it could work. And I'll show you a much easier way. As you see, sometimes it's not so easy to draw straight lines. So unless you're using a straight edge or a ruler, sometimes your lines get a little bit wonky. But as long as you know what they're supposed to be, you can count. Now, there's not enough room for me to write a number in every single square, but what I can do is I can just see how many go across the top. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm just going to write 12, just because I don't necessarily have the room to write every single one. I'll say that there are 12 across the top which means there's going to be 12 right here. There's going to be 12 on this row, 12 on this row, 12 on this row, and then 12 on this row. So I've got some options. I can take my 12s and I can add them up. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've got 6 12s. Some of you might want to do that, but some of you might also think, you know what, repeated addition, that looks a lot like multiplication, and it does. So let's go ahead and fix this. So 6 twos is going to be 12, and then that's just going to be 7. An easier way to do this, instead of drawing, so if I wanted to put little lines in every single one of these boxes and count them one by one, guess what? I'd get 72. But an easier way would, would say, I've already counted 12 up on the top. How many rows are there? How far down? What's my width? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, So I can say there are six squares up and down, 12 squares side to side. You do need to count these corner squares twice to get the proper uh, dimensions, and that's fine. And then you think, well, 12 times 6. You might know that fact. If not, you might know um, how to do two digit by one digit multiplication. Like you could do two digit by one digit multiplication two ways. Well, if we did partial products, we would do six times two makes 12. And then we would say six times one is six. But really, that's in tens place. I'm going to put a zero there. And so six times one is 60, because that's really a 10, and you get 72. Or the shortcut or the standard algorithm kind of looks like this. You do six times two, still 12. You just carry that one up there. Now you're going to multiply the 6 times 1, which is 6, and then add. That's the difficult part. You multiply first, you add second, and you add that back in. You still get the 72. So it looks like our answer is going to be this 72 square meters. Now, how do we get some of these other numbers? Well, 12 plus 6 gets you 18. If you were to double that, you would get 36 and 62 is probably just incorrect because someone was trying to count one by one by one and they just miscounted because that's a lot of counting. So our answer is J.